The reason why women don't work on themselves is because mm. culturally we were taught that we are enough regardless. That's true. And that's not saying that, okay, we're, we are daughters of God. Like, yes, we are valuable. We're worthy. We're washed with the blood, right? But, oh my gosh, especially in this time, Facts, boy. it don't matter what you do. You are my a prize, God. right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> especially once that girl, um, what's Steve Harvey's daughter name? Laura. Laura. Yeah, Laura. She, she did a interview on the red carpet that went viral and it's like what's one thing that you want to you know tell the girls just remember you are the prize and the women ran with it and i think that did such a disservice to actual emotional growth for women actual mental growth for women that's actual crazy. spiritual growth for women because it's like no that yeah. that's, that's actually inaccurate it doesn't matter how bad you are it don't matter how good you are in the bedroom at the end of the day if you are not emotionally mature you will not be able to not only manage that all right so that's she tk lee yeah. so that yeah. shout out to the fresh leftovers awesome show go check them out um they had her on what do you guys think about what she said i agree because in the church in our community right mm -hmm. all eve did was show up that's what we're taught eve showed up and adam to you know this this woman and he knew her you never hear but people skip the fact that adam and eve were in a perfect environment they skip the fact that there was no sin mm -hmm. they skip the fact that adam had no other choices they skip the fact that adam was in direct communication with the one true living god they skip the fact that they were in a in 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 god's personal glory every single day they skip the fact that all Eve had to do was show up you know what I'm saying because there was nothing f a fault about her but that's not our life and I do agree with her I think that there is everything does start with a man I do believe that and when the man is not in position God in his faithfulness will sustain the family but the flourishment of the family the father really has the man has to be in position and I do believe especially in I can only speak for our community right um, I do think that a lot of women do feel like all I have to do is just show up, you know what I'm saying? In the and be the mom, do the, the the maternal things, the wifely things that we've heard about, but the functionality of the relationship of the marriage is on the man. I feel like this because you need to work on this. You need to do this. You need to do that, mm. and I'll be I'll be satisfied. Interesting. I think that's what that's it is. I feel like you see that in social media. You know, don't take me to the Cheesecake Factory. If, if you ain't spending $500 on me, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got nothing to talk about. If you ain't pulling up in a big body, you know what I'm saying? If your stuff ain't the best in the bedroom, it's like a lot of, there's a lot of, and I have a son. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a daughter and I have a son. God okay. is good, baby. So all I had to do was two in them out. That's beautiful. Um, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yes. And I, my son is a prize. You know, because a lot of yeah. it's a it's a lot of love. It's a lot of prayer. It's mm. a lot of mm. dying. That's good. That I'm doing and that his father is doing to make sure that when we're gone, that he has a personal and intimate relationship wow, with yeah. the one true living God. So I wish somebody would act ever step like to my act yeah. to, step to my son. Yeah. Like, you know, you down here and I'm up here simply because God made me made me a woman no yeah, yeah no like that's 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 not the thing and on the other hand i have a daughter right you know so from that perspective is i wish she would step into a man's life and try to overcompensate because i also do mm. think that women a, now oof, yeah. feel the need to overcompensate and what god is showing me that marriage is a oneness mm -hmm. and my husband is strong in this area i'm strong in this area and that's how to become one, one. and and that's good. There should be enough of me to rub off on you. Not that you're fully like me and not that I'm fully like you, but now we can become a an operable agreement. And so with me That's having good. a daughter, it's like I would never want her to have to step up and I hate to say this, build a man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's because that's a lot of stress on a woman because mm -hmm. it, it, it flips the relationship mm -hmm. and, and a woman loses a lot of respect and a lot of resentment now happens, happens yeah. when a woman has felt like she's had to 
mother him in a way because yeah, now the woman yeah. isn't getting what she needs from him so I, to get off of my soapbox it's like <laughs> my it's a good one. my son is a prize <clears throat> and my daughter is a prize and that's why the bible says be equally yoked and mm. i believe that's why arranged marriages yes, yes that's good was so important back in the day because we can mm. now see like hey they come from good breeding you know what mm. i'm saying and if i could arrange a marriage for my kids i would i have <laughs> kids marry noah you know what i'm saying because i know noah come from good, good, good breeding yeah. Yeah. i would have you know my son yeah. marry you know mariah because i know she comes from good breeding it's the road less travel so mm. all we can do the, yeah, is plant the good. is plant the seeds <laughs> and pray that you know mm -hmm. they mature the way that god intends yeah mm. right. yeah i agree that makes sense i think just listening to that and even hearing you helped to flesh out the idea more in my mind but perhaps the reason because personally i can't relate to that at all i the whole concept of Women just being, you know, we ain't got to work on ourselves. Like, that is not... But anybody you know. can listen to you with a brain and tell that you are of a higher quality of a woman. Oh, well, that's Like, they can, they can listen to you and Bless tell God. that, yeah. Thank you, that's kind. I don't think you'll have that that problem. Thank you. Um, but, but yeah, so I when, when she spoke that, I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know that I know exactly where she's coming from. But then once you were fleshing that out, it helped me. Um, but from what you were saying, I started to think... Perhaps there's an internalization that women have of the objectifying of their bodies, of being a good sexual partner, having that like good, you know, beautiful appeal and the womb. Right. It's like, OK, I'm bearing your heirs, your children. Um, and so then operating like, OK, so in this way, I am the prize. Right. Like if that is the internalization of what's happening, I'm the object of desire. Um, I'm the one that you've chased. Right. Like if it's if it's that kind of thought process, then I can understand it. Um, but I think, yeah, it was just so good what you said about. Um, us all being the prize and perhaps the reason why the Bible speaks of you know women being um, like beauty I, I'm losing the actual verse but uh, beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord uh, will be praised and like her being like rubies and you know mm -hmm. more rare right like perhaps that is speaking to adding the value mm -hmm. where women weren't undervalued so it's like hey let's put value on the way in which she reflects the beauty of god like her integrity and in those things um but maybe we've just internalized that ignorantly within the church of like oh i'm a woman so i'm like the, I, you know the beautiful whatever so again i'm, I'm glad yeah. you guys are here because i can't super relate to this but i will say this there's nothing to me i'm just talking for me there's nothing more beautiful than to watch god uh mold your wife into a more perfect woman of god like you could see from when you first when i first met my wife to where she is now you could see what god is doing Every area of worry, every area of stress, every, like you can see God working in her She's life. So oh, sweet. That's beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. if that's what she means is that you work, you have to dig into God as well. You have to grow Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a beautiful thing to watch God mold your wife into Absolutely. somebody that's more like him. It's, it's awesome. But that's right. not what she meant. Right. So. Not Lori, at least. No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That yeah. internalization of what we, she what meant we provide. You yeah. yeah. Period from the beginning i think biblically <laughs> without being women <laughs> I, well i'm not going to just say women i will say wives are the prize but let me let me backtrack yeah, the so favor. i think that when you understand your significance and the significance of creation how awesome god is and how intentional he is and how he created us wonderfully and differently not equally but differently you already have that foundational understanding that we are both valuable However, when I go to Proverbs and you're at Proverbs 31 and like you said, their women are equated to jewels. She'll be a crown unto her husband's head. I, when I speak to married men, they are like championing like, yes, oh, my God, I love my mm -hmm. wife. How, what mm -hmm. she's done for me, the value that she adds to her life. A crown is a treasure. What is a treasure? A prize. Yeah. She has a prize. And right. even like a wife, the bride of Christ, Christ is coming for his bride. That's a prize. The position that you mm. hold is powerful. So when I when I think that 
contextually when I think about that idiom no, through the biblical worldview. A wife, a woman of God, a Proverbs 31 whose life is submitted to God, like you said, that's yeah. beautiful. She is a prize. I right. Think, I, think, right. I think it's that part. It's the woman who, who is submitted that. to who God. Is submitted. Are you a prize by default? And that's, no, yeah, that's you what have what to work on at. yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like I when at. I originally saw the video, I was like, I don't think we should gen- generalize that women don't. They think they're the prize and they don't think they have to work on themselves because of that. No, I think people in general don't want to do the work because the work is messy. Absolutely. Submitting to God, dying to yourself is messy. Absolutely. And your gaze is not on Jesus. You're not filtered through the word properly because you're allowing what the world says. Like you said, Mm -hmm. I'm pushing P. I'm pushing my beauty. I'm pushing all of this stuff when... Even verses that you guys quoted, beauty is fleeting. It contradicts that directly. And it's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. That too. Yeah. Real quick, we yeah. had a super chat. Okay. Uh, LJ Taylor said, it's a double-edged sword. If you put yourself too much together, you are intimidating and won't fit the helper role, but the competition role or counselor role. Um, so I think what she's saying oh, is interesting. some men are intimidated when you're Absolutely. too put together and too grounded in Jesus. We've we've had topics like this yeah, in mature yeah. versus I mean, new Christian. I, I, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Well, here's the thing. I, I'll say I, this. I, thing. I, I think I've the thing it. goes back to are we we okay? So for men, we may talk about man that dude is worldly. Man that man like if if a man comes into a church and he's doing worldly stuff, we're like man that's man what's going on with homie? Like he he out of pocket. But I think sometimes in the church, what she said, what she described that being the prize, I've never heard a woman sound like that when describing the prize of what a biblical worldview of a right, woman should right. be. That was mm-hmm. the first time I've ever heard something that special. You know what I mean? That was very good. So, <laughs> good. but for me, what I've seen is, and like I said, I've, our church is a little different, and I'm like, we're married. Me and my wife have been married so long, so I don't know what the single life. But what I've seen sometimes mm-hmm. is it was a beautiful wedding. <laughs> it was. Um, but what I've seen now at times is that the culture is dictating how women are in the church. Sometimes. Absolutely, and yeah. that's not absolutely what what we're seeing at that point is that's not God, and we're mixing stuff in to be like mm-hmm. that's God. I'm sorry, we're mixing stuff in to saying like, yeah, I'm the prize. I'm the prize. He got to do this. He got to do that. But at the same time, are you submitted to the Lord? Definitely. Is your right, life submitted right. to Jesus? Yeah. Are yeah. you are you are if, if Jesus get did give you that man, can you submit to that man? Can you talk to him? Can he submit to you? Because sometimes yeah. some men can be like, I'm not submitting to this woman. She she talked to me like I'm a dog. Yeah. She talked to yeah. me crazy. So yeah. so let me let me do this because we we I'm gonna try and get one more topic in. Okay, I, to, I, wanna, I, I killed two already. Sean, is it okay if I address yeah, this yeah, really yeah, quickly? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the double-edged sword. I, I feel that I have literally lived it, um, and for a long time, just yeah, just to be very candid, I started feeling very frustrated because I started feeling like, Lord, you've been refining, you've been sanctifying, you've been taking me through all these processes of maturing me, and I keep coming across these men. Um, who aren't there yet or I just keep the guys who are great we just aren't aligned like we're not on the same page and so it started to feel like okay what's the point of all the work Mm. and now I can finally say with excitement praise God like thank you Lord for the work that you're doing because you think so much of me hello that you're like I am so like I'm so committed to your process of you being the masterpiece that it's not time yet. Preach. And so that way, when the man of God comes, he will have Period. to be the one who can steward the masterpiece well and me with him as well. Mm-hmm. Right. But now it's like, oh, I don't have to keep looking at all these men around me like, oh, well, he doesn't have this and he doesn't have that. It's like, no, the one that God says can steward mm-hmm. his investments because mm-hmm. that's what he does when he's sanctifying those are investments come on so when the Lord invests he's not like Preach. oh let me go throw it to somebody else who can't handle the investment he wants a return he wants to make sure that the person anyway y'all and I'm, I'm passionate about this we'll do the other topic next time go, go ahead and cut yeah, yeah I'm passionate about this there. But, yeah. but I just and I've been praying that I'm like you know just even for myself Lord I pray that you would get the return on your investment yes. as much as it is possible. Every investment that you have put in me from childhood to now, let not one fall to the ground 
mm-hmm. and be dead. Let it all bear much fruit, right? Mm-hmm. So if that's my prayer, if that's what God is already doing because he wants to make sure that he uh, completes the work, completes the masterpiece, right, unto his glory, then he's not going to bring some dusty man. Dusty. 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 Who does not know how to handle the masterpiece well, right? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, to that point of the double-edged sword, sis, just know that you're worthy of the process, okay? Mm -hmm. Know that you're worthy of being perfected as the masterpiece. And when the time comes... He'll have the person who can steward you well. And pray you have discernment. That, a lot of and people discernment and spirits. That. Both of them. It's absolutely that. Ones. And ultimately, I think one, one of the things that I started off with that really jacked me up was this, this entitlement, mm-hmm. this expectation that because I've abstained, because I have uh, kept myself and I've been obedient, I've been the good girl, I followed, you know, the Lord, right? <laughs> because I have done that, I'm about to get everything I want, yeah. the way I want it, no. when I want it, how that's I good. want it. not true. And the Lord jacked all that up. He was like, yeah, that's what you thought, but I'm going to show you who I really am and what, what I really have for you, right? And so... Now it's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm about to be 31. So that's young. In different queen. territory. That's young. But I thought I would be married by now. That's, that's, that's the wrong. kicker. You uh, thought wrong. Right. And as exactly I mature that. in Christ, I don't even want to think for myself no more. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's these thoughts. Yeah. That I create yeah. movies in my mind, as yeah, Jerry don't. Flower said. Yep. And, and I will respond based on my own narrative. Yes. Yes. And let me just tell you something like, it is T U F. F tough yeah. yeah to be to to build your own foundation in the Lord it's hard to be yeah. the sacrificial lamb even Jesus himself was like God you sure about this yeah you know what I'm saying yeah. are you sure this is what you want like like for me my mother you know was a, a parented alone mm-hmm. you know what I mean and mm-hmm. she was a and I think that there's and, and, and really quickly I want women to stop saying you a single mother if you and if, if he take care of his kid you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying y'all may not be mm-hmm. together but if he is taking care of his child you are not a single mother my mama was a single mama my daddy didn't do nothing for me mm-hmm. you know and after mm-hmm. the age of whenever that relationship deteriorated before yeah. I was five years old so that's a single mother yeah. there's a different there's a difference between you parent alone yeah. Monday through Friday yeah. but if you know you can call that man at the drop of a dime and he gonna be there to take care of them kids you are not a single parent y'all just aren't together right, I, right. so I just needed to get that out my spirit real quick <laughs> but what I wanted to say is is that it's tough being the sacrificial lamb yeah. it is tough being the person that is not doing the things and walking it's a walk with Jesus and when you're walking with someone hold my hand it's a steady pace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's not a sprint. That's why right. the word says the race mm-hmm. ain't for the swift. For the, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's not a sprint. Yeah. It's a That's walk. Yeah. You know That's what I'm good. saying? If he stumbles, I got to stand right here and, and help, help him, him pick up. himself up. Yeah. You know, and that is what Jesus does on a daily. Thank you. Your hands mm-hmm. are soft. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but not in no, not in no, you know what I'm saying? Type of way, but it's a nice hands. I'm notorious happy. But, um, but I said oh, that to say like it's tough it's tough yeah. being yeah. the person to build the house with the lord for other people to stand in yeah. mm-hmm. you know and as a woman right and i can yeah. speak to us and to our hearts and i can also speak to to the to the black men yeah. here not to bring up a race thing i don't know how they operate in other households though right right Black women be the glue, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, we be more in the word than the men most of the time. You know what I'm saying? We're the ones that's trying to change the narrative oftentimes of the family because when mm-hmm. the God put, when the, when the man and the father put a seed in the woman, and I pray you ladies get to experience this, it changes a woman. You know what I'm saying? My children have changed me in a way that is nothing that God mm. could do. And so I said all that to say is just that, mm. you know, when you are walking with Christ to both of y'all's points and I applaud y'all, y'all are both beautiful. And I pray if wifehood is what you desire, that the Lord will honor that. Just know that it is a dying to self 
yeah. every yeah. day to follow God. Whether you single, yeah. whether yeah. you married, whether your box can't be controlled, whether it's tamed, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Whether you cussing right. people out, it don't matter. Like it is a walk. Yeah. every yeah. single day and God honors and that's why he said yeah. God judges the heart because yeah. even though you will slip and fall on your walk yeah your intention is to get to your destination yeah. and the father he honors that absolutely amen wow. and just yeah that was so good and I think just to close out my little my little thought my little spiel too um to the the question or the point that was made um I think just the thing that God is showing me is like Jesus being the prize mm -hmm. ultimately him like are you good enough for me or is it what comes from your hand you know mm -hmm. that that's the thing because if I and I keep praying that I'm like Lord if I'm not married and this is a recent prayer I just got there <laughs> God help to sustain it but if I'm still not married at 35 I pray that I would still find peace and joy and mm -hmm. satisfaction in the Lord Amen. and that there wouldn't be this this bitterness and this you didn't do what you said you would do right because if he's the if he's the prize if it's for his glory if if the goal is for me to be at his feet to sit and inquire in his temple yeah. okay to behold the glory and his goodness and his beauty if that's it then like that has to be enough and so i think yeah. just praying for that yeah praying for that because that's not an easy place to arrive to or to sustain it's by the spirit literally um and i think asking for that because the one thing this is the last thing i'll say that I have come to see is everything, chaos, suffering, hardship, that's all promise, that's consistent. Mm -hmm. The one thing that we can ask God for that will sustain us through all of that is to be mindful of his goodness, of his character, that he is peace in the midst of the chaos. Mm -hmm. So it's like, for me to keep asking for circumstances, yeah, that's fine, but ultimately, can we ask him, Lord, just let me know your goodness in every season. Yeah. Regardless, yeah. just let me know your goodness because everything else can fall, everything else can cave in. Yeah. But if I can just hold on to your hand and see you rightly, yes, mm -hmm. that's what matters. Um, and, and so that would be my encouragement because yeah. we don't know what so life be doing. LJ says, Sorry, I prolonged this part. No, no thank, you. thank you, thank you for that question because I think we got <laughs> to where we we're supposed to get to. Yeah, I just want to encourage all the ladies in the room and everybody watching. Mm -hmm. Um, God is sees your sacrifice, He sees your pursuit of Him. I know this is hard, and I think even for guys that are listening that have been committed, you know, me and Ryan and Jeremiah used to lament, oh, we're single and nobody wants us and all that. They, they did. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't feel it. I guarantee you that. We didn't feel it. But one thing is, if you're faithful to God, it may not turn out exactly the way you want, yeah. but you have to decide in your heart, are you doing this because you're expecting the result that you want? Because if you are, then you're going to be bitter. You're going to be angry yeah. with God. You're going to yeah. be angry Absolutely. at everybody. And you're going to quit. Yeah. And you're just going to just run run through the whole world, right? Absolutely. Right. If, you, if you're doing it because you really genuinely want to get closer to him and you're putting him before your own desire, if he, if he blesses you with a marriage mm -hmm. if he blesses you with kids and all that that's that's bonus that's on top of what you actually exactly. get you get yeah. you get him yeah. either way and that's why yeah, that's why Sean. i harp on that's why i harp on that's the guys good. so much really because good. i'm just so disappointed honestly and i know the guys are getting mad at me because there are a lot of great guys out there that are overlooked by some of y'all they consider um, it to be lame they we got they, five three kings out there so, so yeah <laughs> some <laughs> some uh, some of our guys are out there that they're getting overlooked so i just want to put that out there but overwhelmingly the guys that we come across i would not recommend to to my mm -hmm. sisters in christ so that's why i keep imploring y'all get go deeper because they're waiting for you there's literally yeah. awesome women yeah. that are waiting for you to get yourself together mm -hmm. um and that's why we grind this stuff out because there's some errors on you know on the women's side there's some errors on the men's side and we're just yeah. trying to grind it till we get it right yeah. but you we, I, we need the men to step up we gotta we have do. men that are reliable trustworthy that you that can be counted on sure and it takes accountability it takes being in a community where guys could call you out and say hey what about this what about mm -hmm. this that's how that's how we did that's what we did for each other um, and I pray you could find that in your community as well and it was great because as someone who knew them before they got married right I would have friends as we all say it's like ain't nobody they ain't no good guys out there and I would be like I know some you know what I mean I know some but where they are in their heart I don't know if you would be right for them <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't know that part that's I don't true. know if you would be right for them and literally every time I would see them I would say 
y'all dating somebody y'all dating because it was a conversation they were transparent no you know not dating baby ryan came to me (laughs) i met somebody the next day ryan came back and said i'm getting married And then, the and then, not to be outdone, a week later, Sean came back and was like, I met somebody. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Amen. Yeah. And then the Come next on. day, he came back and was like, I'm getting mad. Lord, I, I see like, what you've it, done for it, others. It happened. Right? Come on now. And it happened, it, Lord. I'm hearing the testimony. like that. And so, a lot of women would consider my husband to be a lame. They like, he likes Sean and, you know, Jeremiah and, <laughs> and, 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 and I don't. <laughs> but God in his goodness planted in me a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as long as, long as Candy doesn't consider him a lame. And yeah. yeah. That's what we yeah. God in his he's goodness, not. He's, he's not. Man. God yeah. in his goodness planted in me a long time ago growing up in my single mother home that this ain't right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like this ain't how it's supposed yeah, yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah. Mm. And meeting John John was the first man that said, I want responsibility for you, no matter how you come. I'm not really interested in these particularly these particular qualities. And I respect you. And he never tried to change me. Mm-hmm. And he kept his integrity. That's not to say that I have agreed with everything along right. the way, because, you know, we're also culturally different, spiritually, physically, mentally and culturally, too. But he's never tried to change me. Mm-hmm. And I liken that to Orion and Ashan. So hold fast, queens, because mm-hmm. they're out there. But I had discernment when I walked in that studio and saw John. <laughs> the first thing I looked at, I said, he cute. Where his ring at? <laughs> and the Lord said, he ain't, he ain't one. Now, there has been a lot of growth. Yeah, even after you get in it, this. Ma- still yeah, growing. and that's why people get divorced, because you don't stop growing just because you're married. Mm-hmm. And yeah. sometimes and oftentimes seasons are imbalanced. That's why two are now one, because right now where I am spiritually, it's different than where my husband is. But we're both believers. Yeah. And one day he's going to have to carry my torch across the finish line, mm-hmm. you know, because yeah. I've experienced life more than he has in a different way. I've become I birthed children. I've experienced tragic loss i've walked away from my almost six-figure corporate job to be a stay-at-home mom that's a you know what i'm saying coming from a single mother to now have to fully financially depend on a man even though i'm married that wasn't what was up for me you know what i'm saying so i said all that to say that's real back to my original point is that great godly men are out there and they may not come across i've never seen these men be other than who they are Mm -hmm. i've never seen them put on sean is a completely different person off of this radio show he's more to himself he's more you know (laughs) introspective you know he don't talk a lot you know what i'm saying like you really gotta know him ryan is ryan you know (laughs) in a positive way and and jeremiah is kind of more so like a sean he'll talk and stuff like that but he's also introspective so that's why i say women have discernment because if you're also on your walk with christ but expecting a real godly man to show up you know in the life you might be missing your mark not Mm -hmm. y'all i'm just looking at y'all because we women you might be you might be missing your mark but y'all now y'all not lame and i didn't i didn't (laughs) build no no you good you good you know what i'm saying you said it all right so i'm good though i'm glad i'm glad i waited thank you for the question miracle everybody in here thank you guys for what you said that was awesome um, I'm going to turn it over to you. We'll do the topics that we skipped next week. I promise. Okay. But but we're, I'm gonna turn hard, it over. To you. Man. It was bobbing. We good. Yeah, it was good. It was good, it was yeah. good man. Man, that was really good. Mm-hmm. And it was like y'all ain't talking. Yeah, y'all, they saying some good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> 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 y'all are so smart, and I pray that the Lord blesses you all with a man. Of the same. I haven't met you yet, James, but you seem like a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. But I pray that the Lord blesses (laughs) y'all with the same caliber and integrity and heart Mm -hmm. as these men in here. Because I know y'all have been around them, but they have been consistent brothers. I mean, I cannot tell you anything how they've changed in the 15 years that I've known them they have been consistently kind Mm -hmm. consistently willing to help out I've never heard either of them cuss you know what I'm saying I've never seen them get mad 
like that. I've seen like you know they might get a little frustrated about something but yeah, just the yeah. character yeah. and they genuinely love Jesus Christ mm-hmm. and I pray mm-hmm. that the Lord blesses y'all with a man of mm-hmm. that kind of caliber mm-hmm. and integrity and I believe that he will he may not be black though <laughs> you know what I'm saying he may not be black there it is. So I'm open now do you love queen. Jesus I'm open keep your eyes open <laughs> queen open. why are you looking at me girl Oh, Jeremiah, remember I asked you to make clips? <laughs> That's what I, I used to about. be blackity black black, but now I'm open. I'm kingdom, <laughs> kingdom, 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 kingdom. We That's got to it. We finally got to it. Amen. That's that discernment. <laughs> you know, you might be waiting a long time. You might be in that fire a long time that waiting part. on a brother. I'm ready to get out. Get I'm ready little, to be out the fire. Go get you a little Latino. <laughs> go get you a little uh, Asian, but get you an L.A. Asian because they kind of cooler they than all the rest. They got some swag in L.A. You know, they got some so Candy is Chris, back. Chris, Chris, uh, Chris, talking about you. Go get you a we gonna give them the black wife challenge. So you know, we gonna give them all exactly. up like TikTok. Hey, hey, them white boys got some soul in them with that black wife. Oh <laughs> Don't get you one of them. You know? <laughs> as long as he the kingdom in is Lord. multicultural. The kingdom, yeah. the kingdom is multicultural. At hand. God don't no favor among men, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right, Jeremiah, let's get out of here. Right, let's go. Let's go.